According to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, hoarding is the persistent difficulty of discarding or parting with possessions, regardless of their actual value. In this video, I will discuss hoarding, and even if you don't suffer from hoarding, if you stick around, you'll learn some tips that can help your anxiety. The signs of hoarding include inability to throw away possessions, severe anxiety when attempting to discard items, indecision about what to keep or where to put things, distress such as feeling overwhelmed or embarrassment by possessions, functional impairments including loss of living space, social isolation, family or marital discord, financial difficulties and health hazards. People hoard because they believe that an item will be useful or valuable in the future, or they feel it has sentimental value, is unique and irreplaceable, or too big a bargain to throw away. They may also consider an item a reminder that will jog their memory, thinking that without it they won't remember an important person or event. Hoarding is a disorder that may be present on its own or as a symptom of another disorder. It's important to be very clear that hoarding is not the same as collecting. In general, collectors have a sense of pride about their possessions and they experience joy in displaying and talking about them. They usually keep their collection organized, feel satisfaction when adding to it, and budget their time and money. Those who hoard usually experience embarrassment about their possessions and feel uncomfortable when others see them. They have clutter, often at the expense of livable space, feel sad or ashamed after acquiring additional items, and they're often in debt. I want to discuss a study featured in the PubMed database. This study found that there was a link with increased emotional reactions and the amount of hoarding. In other words, when people became emotional, they hoarded more things. However, one does not have to have a problem with hoarding in order to still have too much clutter and disorganization in his or her life. While you may have limited control over all of your environments in life, your home can be enhanced. It doesn't matter whether your home is modest or large, whether you own your home or rent an apartment, whatever. You can make it comfortable. It can be very helpful to take some time to declutter. Here are some steps you can get started with today. Throw out or donate old things when they're replaced with something new. Periodically decide what things you really value. If you don't value items, consider throwing them out or donating them. It can be a great feeling knowing that someone can benefit from these items. Take some time each day just to straighten or clean up. You don't have to take very long. Small steps each day can make a huge improvement over time. And if you want more tips, you can even do an internet search on decluttering and organizing. There is a great deal of helpful information available. Rather than living in clutter, which can make one anxious, these recommendations can provide an environment for you which facilitates relaxation.